お見事 Welcome everyone. This is going to be a playthrough of Strider 2 for the arcade. Growing up, um, everybody who was from my generation knew there was a huge competition between Nintendo Entertainment System and the Sega Genesis. And I, for the most part, was very, very much a Nintendo guy. But if there was one game that led me to think Sega Genesis might be pretty cool, it was the game Strider. We can see our antagonist, the Grandmaster, so he's probably a chess player. And there's our hero, Strider. And he's a pretty badass Neo Ninja. So let's fire it up to get it started. In this game you can select your missions. I believe there's a total of four or five. Let's just go to mission one. We'll take it in a pretty much linear order. Destroy the militia group. Wait, who is that? Well, let's find out who that is. And as you can see, Strider, Strider, Strider is very stylized, very, very cool looking ninja. And this game plays really, really awesome. The thing is, I was not aware of it though. I was not aware of this game until fairly recently, the past like three or four years. If not for this, I, I would never have known about this game. But as you can see, it's pretty badass. Um, if you've ever played the original Strider, it was very, very good for its time, but perhaps a little bit uh, graphically dated. This uh, updated Strider's look, updated Strider's like you know play abilities, and I think basically just before this game was the game um, was the game Marvel vs. Capcom. This game is 1999, and that was 1998, and that's when they took Strider and they made him a little bit cooler. Is that a DeLorean? <laughs> I think the game designers are trolling. That's pretty simple. Just get his back. This is our first boss. I don't know why, but I'd say he looks vaguely familiar to me. And there he goes. Maybe that was like Doc Emmett Brown? I don't know. <laughs> or maybe that was Biff. That was like some futuristic Biff. I don't know. Anyway, we'll just slice our way through, as ninjas are wont to do. If you notice, his blade is very unique. Um, it's not like a normal sword. Aww, oh, why did I walk into that? That's okay, I got my life back. Oh, was that Son Son? That is Son Son. Oh, and I missed him. Son Son, another arcade game. Um, I've got a lot of things that I could say about him, but first, let's just talk about Strider. I notice in a lot of my playthroughs, I get very, very distracted. Oh, a Moo Cow! You see? Oh, we can't get the Moo Cow. <laughs> anyway, let's keep on going. Yeah, so Strider was a really, really awesome game that I really loved way back in the day. Uh, very unique, especially in the movements. Um, Strider can, you know, as you've seen so far, cling to the walls, he can, you know, go up and down, flip around, do all kinds of cool stuff, and that's kind of what made the game so unique. You know, back in those days, you know, something like Metroid, it was an innovation just to go backwards, and then now you've got this character who could, like, cling to walls and, you know, do all kinds of crazy stuff. Life up. If you're wondering what that B is, I think it's a boost. And so you hit it, you turn it on, and basically all of your sword slices, they will hit the enemy. And no matter where you're doing it from. And there he goes. Cool. And I love this era as far as like graphics. This is an arcade game, but it looks just like PS1, right? But yeah, this plays very, very smoothly, very, very awesome. The things that you can do, and are very, very simple, but very cool. Got our big old sword. And let's keep on going. Yeah, so the, the basic plot, I believe, of Strider, I believe of this one, 
Uh, the basic plot of Strider, you're fighting against the Grandmaster, this uh, alien overlord, and you're a ninja, so you're on a mission to assassinate him. Oh, I think... I don't know exactly what that's from. I forgot the name of the game, but that's also from another Capcom uh, arcade game. I forgot the name off the top of my head, but yeah. This is a very, very Capcom-y game. Capcom-y. Okay, yeah, let's keep on a roll. So like I said, that was the simple but very, very easy plot. You have this alien overlord, you're a ninja, you gotta assassinate him. And his name is the Grandmaster, so I'm assuming that he's a chess player. The High Society Residential Area. Now I gotta beat these bitches. Tong Poo. What an unfortunate name. Oh, how unfortunate to fall down. Give me my life. There we go. I'll turn on my boost again. And slice these bitches. Yeah, this is really Back to the Future reminiscent, right? It took some inspiration, I'd say. 1999, I don't know. Were they just kind of like reminiscent back then of Back to the Future? Nice. The wealthy area of the city. Why did that happen? I didn't try to dash. Life. Sword. Is that a Donkey Kong barrel? <laughs> this thing is tributing too many games for me to like mention all at once. So yeah, I uh, slice these guys out of here. Uh, I played that game, Strider, when I was a kid, and I actually beat it with a friend of mine. We spent a long time beating that game, but it was really awesome. It was really worth it. And that was back in the 80s. 80, I don't know, 7 around? And then a long time passed, and I believe there actually was a Strider 2. That was not this one. And I think it was on the Genesis, but it went over my head. I didn't see it, because I didn't have a Genesis. I just played at my friend's house. And... The, the next time that I saw from Strider, he was in the form that he's in now, and what did he say? Something, something, Kakuni? I think he said like something like enemy confirmed. Oh, there's the Yashichi! This is just so Capcom-y. There's my buddy Son Son again. That uh, shape that we got. Yes! Onore! He said, you bastard. Yeah, that shape that we just got, that is such a cool sight, isn't it? Really, really picturesque. Anyway, that shape that we got um, was called the Yashichi. And if you're a... Oh! Let's continue. And if you're a Capcom fan, you know what that is. Uh, you've probably seen it in Mega Man and lots of other Capcom games. <laughs> I won't let you pass. Even though he's not really doing much to make me stop. Oh, except for that. Oh, when did I get six lives? Thank you. Of course, when I say six lives, I mean like six bars of life. You know what? Let's boost this dude. Oh, there goes our boost. So, the next time uh, Strider made an appearance, I mean, I, like I said, there was that Strider too, but I don't think it was a huge deal. Uh, so the next time he made an appearance, I believe, was on... Fighting the dragon. Emperor Dragon. It was on uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. And I think that was 1998. Oh, you got me. And this was my, this game that we're playing right now is 1999. So as you can see, he's 
how his, has his updated form. He looks a lot different from that first Strider game. I think he looked pretty cool, but yeah, I like the update a lot. And I believe I was saying before, his sword is a very unique design. I believe it's called a, a cipher. Or something to that effect. And Cypher is not a real thing, of course. It's just something they made up for this game. Slice this guy while we have a chance. The Cypher is something between, like, an actual sword and a Tonfa. And a Tonfa... <laughs> it's not something most uh, Westerners are like to know. A Tonfa is kind of like this, um... It's uh, the kind of stick that you'd see from, like, a security guard of Japan. Especially way, way back in the day. Strider rank E. Well, hey, it's just a fun run. Is that Chun Li? Chun! What have they done to you? You're a bad guy now. There is the Grandmaster, practicing his chess moves. Maybe he's a, an international master. He needs to be a super GM. Let's go in order. We're just going to go to stage two. Invade and attack the armed fortress. Okay, so like I was saying, um, oh I love this, uh, I think this is one of my favorite missions. It's just so cool how you can climb up this and all the scrolling in this game, all the levels of scrolling on each level is really, really bitchin'. Anyway, so he made his first appearance way back in the 80s, Strider. Then he was updated in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. And uh, he's got his present look, which is pretty awesome I'd say. And this arcade game, I don't know, I it went completely, just 100% completely off of my radar. I never heard of it, never played it, never even knew about it until, like I said, a few years ago. But then when I got my hands on it and, see, and seen how smooth it plays and how well it plays, it's a real classic. It's the kind of thing that's, you know, there's the Moo Cow. Yay! We got the Moo Cow. Whatever the hell that means. I wonder if that's another reference. And look at these picturesque places. There's my target. The skewer cannon. We're gonna slice the hell out of it. And what did I miss down here? Oh! Well, it's gone forever. The weapon storage. Uh, I couldn't quite hear that. He probably said, hey, you're a jerk. You jerk. And I'll just slice you from back here, pal. With my sword power. Anyway, yeah, there's a little Donkey Kong barrel. <laughs> As I was saying before, this game is very capcom -y. Um, and if you know me, you know I love SNK. And one of the reasons is I'm the kind of person who loves to see connections in video games. And SNK is brilliant at that. They connect their video games really, really well and in a really funny way. A bridge of Fortress Wannan. I think it's trying to tell you, yeah, you may as well not fight this thing. Is a platformer? You got me. Best to just run. And not get caught by this tank. There we go. So in a lot of uh, SNK games, there will be really, really awesome uh, connections. You know, like endings that show characters from different Capcom games, or different SNK games. And this one, one of the reasons I like it is not only is it a lot of fun, um, but also 
this one does that kind of same thing too. A lot of, you know, Capcom touches, a lot of Capcom connections. Oh, I jumped over you, dude. Now you're gonna pay for it. So Son Son is one of those things. <laughs> if you remember our uh, our play last time of um, of Gunbird, we established that the monkey girl in that game. Oh, you know what? I better use my boost. I should have used it faster. <laughs> uh, the monkey girl in that game, she um, was based on Sun Wukong, who is this um, this character in. Uh, this character in Chinese fiction. Uh, it was the monkey from uh, the book Journey to the West. Ah, oh, too many landmines. And it's really hard to underscore just how influential that character is. There's so many things that have been based on that, specifically that monkey character. So, like I was saying before, Goku from Dragon Ball Z, based on that character. Damn, that's pretty cool looking. Except for the fact that it made me fall. Oh, there's a big knight waiting over there for me. Why did I walk into the fire? Yes, we sliced him. Power up the sword. Anyway, um, as I said, I cannot emphasize enough <laughs> just how influential was the character of Sun Wukong to, uh, I mean, not only Japan, but all of Asia. Um, that was a very, very influential character. And um, so many, many things have been based on him. Um, uh, Sayuki has been based on it. Um, I know a lot of a lot of things. Why did you disappear? What happened to the grand fight? Here we go. If you're wondering what he said, <laughs> he said, and here we get some Castlevania, Adulahan. I'm just BSing. That's not specifically Castlevania. I don't even know what it's from. Whenever you see a dude holding his own head in his hand, that's Doolahan. This guy's got a pretty awesome design, though. And I believe he is our last level 2 boss. But anyway, before I distract myself too much and lose a point, Son Son. That was directly based on the monkey. Uh, and it was an old Capcom arcade. It was okay. I wouldn't say it was like a great, really fun game. It's not the kind that a lot of people would have played or would have known. But again, there's Capcom, you know, making all of these uh, connections with previous games. Awesome. And let's keep going. Scene five. You look suspicious. You are suspicious. Okay, let's keep on plowing through. I really like this game, but one problem is it only gives you such a limited time to even see your surroundings that I'll often find myself uh, dying. I'll often find myself, um, you know, like, falling off cliffs. I'll often find... <laughs> No, I'm not doing this as like a comedy skit. Can I go through? No? Um, I'll often find myself just like, you know, passing something that was like right by a boss. And just kind of asking myself, what would have been there if I would have went down? Let's explore a little bit. View! That's how you get it. If you get that little view, that little kanji for the dragon. It gives you extra life. So now my max is six, and that makes me very happy. Hit him. Oh, almost had him. Probably one more, right? Oh no, this dude's tough. Anyway, how are you liking the design so far? I 
shoot a double jump. It's a little bit more life. I am loving the way this game plays, the way this game feels. Like I said, the only complaint I have is it's, it's hard to know exactly where you are, what you're doing. Better use my boost before I die. Wrong side, dude. There we go. Ooh, I'm about to die. Herzog Schlange. I've heard the word Herzog before. I've heard the word Schlang used in a, a different meaning. But what the hell? Oh, he got me. I'm not gonna take any of that from Mr. Herzog Schlang. First, we gotta find him, of course. Is he running from me? There he is. Get back here, you jerk. He's just standing there. My robot dragons will get him. They can keep up, they will. Oh, they got, they got up. Get back here, Herr Schlung. Why did I fall down a bit? Let's use that boost before we die. Slice. And again, we just manage a rank. E. I think that's mostly to do with clear time. But you know what? You're insanely stupid. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to worry about that. Let's just enjoy our anime scene. You know I don't care about clear time. Because I enjoy about... I enjoy about... I enjoy about hanging out and having fun with the game. And I hope you had fun so far. Uh, we're going to stop right here. And we're going to pick up next time and finish missions 3, 4, and I believe 5. So I hope you enjoyed, and we'll pick up next time. Mitsukurete, arigatou gozaimasu. Sayonara.